How's it going everyone? My name is Eric Hudson. And I'm Roderick. And today we're going to talk about some hip mobility. So a lot of times we have athletes come in and one of the biggest things we see are really tight hips. Whether you have a desk job or maybe you just drive a lot, we're going to help you fix that. Today we're going to show you some easy uh, stretches and some exercises you can do before your workout or after your workout to help you get more mobility in your hips. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to show you is the assisted squat. The assisted squat is definitely good because you're going to be stretching in the movement that we want to do. So, find something to grab onto. From here, wide your stance to whatever position you use to squat, and you're going to slowly jump into your squat, okay? Using the pull the least amount as possible, okay? You want the least amount of pressure. Now, for instance, if you get here, and that's as far as you can go, let's say your back starts around like that, okay? Keep it up, drive down a little bit further, and then slowly walk it back up. And let's say you're going to be doing 10 reps, 15 reps, whatever it may be. You're going to try to increase the, the, how far down you go. So each time, we're going to inch down, inch down, okay? You can get a little bit further this time, okay? And let's say your back starts around. If you feel it, come up, drive down, and then back up, okay? Eventually, you'll be able to get all the way to the bottom, okay? Back's nice and flat. And then as you work your way, you should be able to do it without the pull in front. What's up, guys? My name is Joe, and I'm going to show you guys the modified lunge. So first of all, you want to first lunge, right? From here, you want to take a longer step forward, driving your hips down and into the ground. You can either hold your hands overhead or on the ground, but either way, you want to have all your weight forward. Some key points would be squeezing your butt, right? Your knee is behind your toe, so not all the way forward. That's the knee behind your toe. And your foot is flat on the ground instead of night. All right, guys, the next stretch is the frog stretch. We're going to do it after your workouts, okay, after you're warmed up. So what you're going to do, I grab ab mats because this kind of hurts my knees. So both legs on the ab mats. A few things to look for. We want to make sure that the knee is at a 90-degree angle and our uh, knees stay, I'm sorry, our hips stay right above the knees. Okay, from here, you can put your hands on the ground. Let's say this is already enough. Or as it gets a little bit easier, you can bring the elbows down and you're going to slowly drive the hips out. Okay. From here, relax, chill out. Bring your phone out. Do whatever you need to. You can hold this for about a minute. Okay, if you really uh, feel the need, you can do a few sets. And uh, the best way to get out of this, rather than trying to stand up straight, is just go ahead and slowly come to your belly. Bring your legs together. And uh, that's it. All right guys, last stretch we're gonna go over is the banded hip stretch. So with this stretch, all you need is a medium-sized band and an ab mat to kind of protect your knee. So what you're gonna do is, with the band about knee height, step one leg through and place it right under your glute. From there, take a big step back, so now you're in a lunge. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead, just hang out, make sure there's a good amount of tension on the band, pulling my hip forward as I'm squeezing my glute so I'm not falling forward. As I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and hold here for maybe like 20 seconds. If you also want to get your quads at the same time, your hip flexors a little bit, a little extra, you can go ahead, pull your heel, pull that into your butt, get a little extra stretch there. And then also, usually what I do is after I'll do that, I'll go ahead, grab the band, press it towards the floor, and now press my hips down into the floor, and I'll hang out here for like 30 seconds. I'll go ahead, do this on each side. After that, I'll go ahead, hit it from the side. So what I'm gonna do is place it right in my glute again, step, my knee onto the ab mat, and from here, I'm gonna go ahead in a side lunge, lunge it forward, and make sure my knee's not getting away from me. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of hold my knee with my, the inside of my elbow, hang out here for maybe about 30 seconds again. Usually after I do this on both sides, my squats feel awesome. All right guys, hopefully this video helped increase your hip mobility. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Please like, comment, subscribe to this YouTube channel. See you guys in the next video. There you go. There you go. Keep on scooting. <laughs> Huddy, keep on scooting. What's up, guys? I'm Eric Hudson. <laughs> and I'm Roderick. <laughs> Should do that and then. Yeah. You can stop it. This is Joe. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Joe, and we're gonna go. <laughs> Be like, alright, guys. Hope Please like, comment, subscribe to this video. Oh, shoot. Yeah. That's, that's my cue, huh? And this is Joe.